We move now to the war in Ukraine, and tonight it's now believed three Americans fighting for Ukraine are now missing. And this image tonight, at least two of the Americans now feared captured by Russia. Our foreign correspondent James Longman with late reporting from inside Ukraine tonight. Tonight, the State Department revealing it's tracking a third American fighter reportedly missing in Ukraine. Our understanding was that uh, this individual had uh, traveled to Ukraine to, uh, to take up arms. The two others, former Army Staff Sergeant Alex Druki and former Marine Corporal Andy Huynh, were fighting alongside the Ukrainians and are now thought captured by Russia. Huynh spoke to our Huntsville, Alabama affiliate by phone in April before he left. I made peace with the, the decision. I know there is a potential of me dying. I'm willing to give my life for what I believe is right, for what I've been taught what is right. Both men were last heard from a week ago. Quinn's fiance telling ABC News he felt called to help. He couldn't sit idly by. He couldn't eat. He couldn't sleep, knowing that the people over there were suffering. And Drukey's mother says he wanted to fight for democracy. He felt that he was best used by training soldiers and especially on the American equipment that's being sent over there. This is the leaders of France, Germany, Italy and Romania visited Kyiv today. President Zelensky saying Russia wants to show that the European Union is incapable of being effective and that European values cannot work to protect freedom. We can and must work together. So let's get right to James Longman live inside Ukraine tonight. And James, of course, those images coming in late today appearing to show those two American veterans detained. What more do we know about them tonight? Well, Alex Druki's family has released a statement saying their contact at the State Department is aware of the photograph and is working to verify it. David. James Longman in Ukraine for us again tonight. Thank you, James. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.